Even the best knife will lose its sharpness over time. But what does sharpness actually mean? Sharpness is generally perceived subjectively. Objectively, a knife is said to be sharp when you can use it to easily cut through a normal sheet of paper. But why do we need a knife to be sharp? A sharp knife is safer than a blunt one because less effort is required when cutting. Cutting is more precise, food is cut more cleanly, and you are able to work more quickly and easily. A knife can only cut as well as the sharpness of its blade allows. Regular use of a good knife sharpener is essential for maintaining the sharpness of the blade. If the knife has not been sharpened for some time, the cutting edge becomes rounded and dull. The cutting edge needs to be treated to re-establish its sharpness. It is easy to sharpen your knife if you have the right tool and know how to use it correctly. Zwilling has several options available for sharpening your knives. For example, you could use a sharpening stone. Using a sharpening stone to sharpen your knives is easier than you think. If your knives have a rounded edge, the differing coarseness of the sharpening stone material helps to remove unwanted material along the blade and restore the blade's original cutting geometry. We'll now show you how to sharpen your knife correctly with a sharpening stone using the Twin Stone Pro. Each side of the stone has a different grain. A coarser grain on one side for minor damage, dents and chips, and a fine-grained side for final fine honing. Twinstone Pro stones do not need a long wetting time. Simply pour a little water into the tray of the Twinstone Pro. Briefly lay the coarse-grained side of the stone in the water until no dry patches are visible. Then place the fine-grained side back into the tray. First, grind the blade with the coarse-grained side of the sharpening stone. There are different ways of drawing the blade over the stone. We're going to show you one method that is easy to learn. We recommend dividing blades measuring more than 180 mm into three sections. The tip, the middle, and end or heel of the blade. Throughout the sharpening process, it is important to maintain the correct grinding angle, usually 15 degrees for European knives and 10 degrees for Japanese-style knives. Use two coins to help you judge the correct grinding angle. Speed is unimportant here. Start with the tip of the knife. Exert even moderate pressure when you draw the knife across the stone. Using fluid movements, move on to the other parts of the blade, from the tip to the middle to the heel of the blade. Check that you have successfully sharpened your knife by cleaning the knife and then gently running the tip of your thumb over the cutting edge on the rear side of the sharpened blade. You should feel an even burr along the entire length of the blade. Do this with care, as there is a risk that you could injure yourself. If you cannot feel the burr along the entire length, resharpen the blade on the stone at that point. Make sure that the stone is still sufficiently moistened. Stop sharpening your knife when you can feel a continuous burr along the entire length of the blade. Then repeat the process on the other side of the blade. The water, stone and grinding dust produces a polishing paste, which optimizes the sharpening result. Therefore, do not remove it during the sharpening process. Then sharpen your knife blade in the same way on the fine-grained side of the stone. You will usually feel a slight burr on this side as well. To finally remove this burr, draw both sides of the blade in turn in an arc over the stone at the same time as exerting moderate pressure. End the process when you can no longer feel a burr on either side. Use a cloth to clean the sharpened knife and check how successful the sharpening process has been by testing the knife on a tomato or a sheet of newspaper. You will also need the finer Twin Finishing Stone Pro for ultra-sharp polishing. Sharpen your knife in the same way as with the Twin Stone Pro.